Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? to first off connect to the internet because that's what we're going to need um but we're going to pull up uh, a blog post that native instruments put up on their website recently um that is just some of the best um some of the the best ensembles um you know so far within this year so like within the year 2019 so far so best music tools from the reactor user library in 2019 so far so what i'd like to do is start going over these in our uh you know search for new sounds for a new theme song i'd like to start taking a look at these and See what that looks like and what that looks like a little bit better and let's go ahead and we've downloaded the infamous red knob but it can be downloaded by clicking on the link within the blog and i'll make sure to post a link to this as well as a link to the download page and m wave 2 is what we're going to look at for today so i've actually already taken some time to uh set this up and go ahead and um, place it within, you know, my proper location within the browser. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, Reactor browser here, and we can start getting it loaded. So here we go. And what we'll do is um, I'll just go edit and we'll go into library and click on my head and shoulders for my personal library. And what we're looking for is called the M Wave 2. So we'll make sure we're in the right place. Nope, we're in reactor blocks, so we're not, it's not going to be there. Let's go to the regular ensembles folder. M wave two. Here we go. And it's very simple looking ensemble, very straightforward. Uh, but from what I understand, it is a synth. So wavetable synth. And I'm going to do us a favor, the volume there. So we have uh, some sound controls. Uh, we can flip-flop between these controls on the oscillator, on the sound, um, and it looks like, you know, for each parameter, you know, oscillator one, two, the wave controls, or if we're looking at the filter, the filter controls, amplifier glide range. So just kind of this parameter knob siphons between each of these types of controls. And, um, you know, depending on what we're looking at, say if we wanted to figure out how to get the delay uh, less delay -y, you know, just more or less hear the sound for what it is, and we can do that. Or some chorus, distortion. So whatever is happening to the sound, we can we can get to these types of controls.
so nice uh, filter choices that are available there. And if we go to oscillator one or two, we hold the shift key, there's some different options that are available that come up in the window. So let's pay attention to that. Let's go to wave one and two. And I'll tell you what, this has some presets, so let's take a look at some of the presets. So let's go to bank four. Pretty lovely sounds. starts out at a low volume so you can dial it into taste. It says Mini Moog on Mars. That sounds lovely. That's beautiful. That's beautiful sounding. So let's go to bank three to knit. Nice and knit sound. All right. Super wave. So lots of sounds in this, lots of presets in the instrument itself.
Very nice. So there's just a lot of sounds packed into this thing and yeah I would this is definitely a uh, I mean this right here is a sound I've been trying to kind of find and here it is built right into this instrument a nice cutoff and just nice filter set up already. This is perfect. Simple bass. Mental note on this one. Mars attack. Definitely. Tons of sounds built into this thing. I mean, just tons of room to explore this thing. Tons of sounds packed within. And on that note, until next time.